Imagine if you're watching this, you've heard the news that March 31st, 2022 is or was my last day at IBM. So now I suppose I'm Bill Bittner, formerly of IBM. If you didn't hear that news before, well, surprise. When I told the IBM ZBM team this news, I was sneaky. I did a presentation or what we call an info share for the organization on some of my life rules or hacks. Uh, the last rule, rule 34, know when and how to finish something. And that includes when to finish a job or career. And so I've spent a lot of time uh, on this decision to retire and, and having made it, I'm excited and, and I'm confident. It's been interesting the various rumors I've heard about why I'm retiring. Perhaps my favorite is that I'm doing this so I can participate in a new reality TV show. Uh, that's not the case. I'm, I'm not going elsewhere in the industry. This is a, a true retirement. Uh, there are a number of factors to my decision. A uh, key one just being that I can retire. Uh, I do have several things on the list of, of things I plan to do. Uh, some simple things like climbing trees, but not too high, uh, skipping rocks, uh, watching some sunsets and sunrises. Um, it's been a long time since I've done some of those simple things. I, I want to do a lot more hiking, biking, and kayaking. I want to spend time wandering and pondering. I want to get full use out of my, my workshop for silly and, and fun projects and, and gifts for others. I want to sit at a real table for meals as opposed to eating in the car or over the sink or, or worse, eating next to the keyboard. It's possible that some of you are my friends and family from non-work circles. Uh, to avoid getting lost, VM is a family of products I've worked on since starting with IBM in 1985. Uh, the current product is known as ZVM or ZVM and elsewhere in the world. Uh, it's a solution that takes one large mainframe computer and makes it look like hundreds of mainframe computers by virtualization. Uh, ZVM version 7 release 3 will ship later this year and will be the 28th release of the product in which I have been involved. Uh, my first 25 years or so, I did performance evaluation. That is figuring out how to make uh, the system run faster. And since then, I, I've led the ZVM customer focus and care team, uh, which I sort of made up each day, depending on whether someone needs help or there's an opportunity to share my knowledge uh, to make people more productive. Um, the more intense days were those that uh, I was involved in a critical situation uh, where we were dealing with some sort of disaster that was, was IT related. I'm very thankful for the opportunities that IBM has provided. I never imagined this. Uh, a shy kid who grew up in southeast Pennsylvania on a, a street called Cowpath Road. And, and yes, you occasionally had to wait for the cows to cross the road. Uh, in my youth, I thought an incredible journey was going to the zoo in Philadelphia or, or one of the museums. Thanks to IBM, I've been to 20 countries and have made many friends in them. Uh, it really is the people that have made a difference in, in my life. Uh, the IBMers I have worked with for over three decades, especially the ZVM organization, are, are like another family for, for me. Uh, okay, they're one with a few extra nutty uncles and aunts, but a uh, family nonetheless. Uh, my VM family includes the set of people that IBM calls clients or customers, right? Well, I found it easier to call you all friends, and it can because you are, right? Uh, and I shouldn't forget the extended family in terms of our business partners and other software vendors that make up the community and the different user group organizations involved. They say no one can be happy without friends, but that friendship gets tested when we're unhappy. I've greatly appreciated the friendship and support of, of everyone during difficult times. In over three decades, you see a lot. I started in an IBM where layoffs were inconceivable. You know, and so your Princess Bride reference there. Um, so there were some tough years as that changed, right? And when I lost my parents about a year apart from each other, the outpouring of support you know, from the VM community was special. I can remember at the service for my mom, my brother-in-law, Norman, going, what, is IBM closed today? You know, as he, he commented on how many IBMers attended the services. And I got cards and emails of encouragement from, from many of you, so thank you for that. There are far more highlights than struggles. I've had many fond memories with my friends, getting chocolate Giardelli Square in San Francisco, watching Australian rules football, where I still don't understand the rules. Uh, so many minor and major league baseball games, uh, in particular a Nashville Sounds game, uh, where I got a new nickname, uh, and it rained out in Wrigley. Uh, we were dry since our seats were underneath cover, and I had a hot dog and a stadium beer and good company, so, so life was good. And 
Uh, don't get me started on my friends in Brazil who are always so hospitable to myself and, and any other person that, that comes to visit them. I've had many trips to Germany and I, I still have my map that shows the different beer gardens in, in München uh, where we crossed off each one as we visited. And both Brazil and Germany are on my list to revisit without a laptop in retirement. Uh, there are a few beer gardens left to cross out there yet, so perhaps that'll be part of the return. The Share User Group community had a huge effect on both my career and my life uh, in terms of the friends I've made there, but also in opening my eyes to the industry. Uh, and the Share Group, uh, the community, just really welcomed me with open arms. They helped pull me out of my, my shell a, a little bit. Uh, and we had a lot of fun, right? We found ways to make uh, doing business fun. And you'll see many pictures here of, of different folks that I've met through Share. Um, and events there. Uh, probably the feel-good moment of me for 2020 was uh, being recognized as a distinguished speaker by, by the SHARE leadership and organization. And so I, I thank uh, all the folks involved with SHARE for what they've contributed to me over, over the years. The VM community together has accomplished some great things over the years. Uh, the innovation and brilliance I see uh, in the VM community and the mainframe world in general will always amaze me. And I've been encouraged in this past decade as I've seen a new generation come on board. Um, they give me encouragement and confidence in the future and hope um, and a piece about passing on the torch to have others uh, carry the message of, of this community uh, forward. I'm thankful to work with so many of, of these great people. Uh, I've been apprehensive about losing the sense of community, but as I thought about it, I realized that the bonds weren't strictly built by my IBM badge. Um, and I know my biological family loves me and is looking forward to spending much more time with me as well. Um, and I don't know exactly what tomorrow will look like, um, but I'm excited to see where it takes me and takes us. Now, don't think you'll uh, get rid of me completely. Uh, you can take the boy out of the ZVM, but you can't take the ZVM out of the boy. Uh, I do plan to be part of uh, the VM workshop in June of this year at Binghamton University uh, as we celebrate our 50th anniversary of the VM product. Um, and I'd like to pop up from time to time and to check in with my friends and there's a possibility of some farewell road trips in here and, and maybe we'll do some lunch. When I first thought about what to say today, I was going to signal out some people and thank them, but then I realized that the list of names is overwhelming. Know that if you're watching this, there's a good chance you've impacted me, right? And I will do my best to connect with many of you individually over the, the next days, weeks, months, years. Um, until then, a huge thank you uh, to each one of you for making me a better person, for giving my mistakes, and, and being on this journey with me for over 35 years. Uh, so let me say one last time, ever onward. Mm -hmm.